and we will also be getting student volunteers from net impact utd which is an organization that's focusing on refugees for the semester so that will really help in putting everything kind of together um, we plan on distributing in the fall when school starts for everyone and also in the spring because most people don't realize that there are people coming in in the spring but there's no like school supply like drive going on at that time because nobody realizes that people need school supplies um, and we will also be going further with other future projects so um, we did a little research and the average number of kids that come in there's more uh, the, young, the younger kids come in there's more um, then it kind of goes down as you go up um, in school level there are 35 elementary school students um, 30 to uh, around like 15 to 30 but usually like 15 would be like what, we, what we're going with um, middle school students and 10 high school students um, and most if you're over 18 they usually don't go to school for whatever reason but um, we will be focusing on um, that number for the fall and also for the spring but we plan <coughs> on coming, uh, getting it all together in the fall when prices are lower for school supplies um, okay, so the organization that we're working with, um, as I mentioned, are DFW International Community Alliance, and they're very, uh, they have a bunch of different resources and connections with people that can help us uh, help the refugees. They provide um, all the information that we need, which is like the family's name, how many kids they have, uh, whether they're uh, male or female, and what grade they're in. So that will help us in figuring out what school supplies and how many backpacks to get. Um, and then, as I mentioned, Net Impact DTD is very solely focused on refugees this year, and as college students, we understand the importance of education. So having someone that is passionate about the cause is very helpful. So the process: um, we're going to start off in the fall or the spring, and obtain a list of the children, um, see how many there are, see what <coughs> grades they're in, and what we need, so we know exactly how much of everything to get. After that, we will be um, providing those supplies that we know that we need. Um, and then we'll be uh, assembling, and all the volunteers that are interested will sit down and assemble each backpack, individual for each kid. And then after that, we will go in and distribute. Um, it just depends on who's interested in distributing and who's over 18 and things like that, but it's just mostly gonna be um, not target employees solely, but also other volunteers. And then we'll gain feedback from each step to see where we can improve for the next cycle. Um, this is an example of a list that we uh, got from DFW International. It's the name, the number of kids, their ages, where they live, and there was more information that I didn't want to include because it was more personal, but um, this is this is an example of what it would look like. Um, also, this is, uh, we I actually went over to the neighborhood where the refugees live and got to meet a lot of the families and give them little things, and honestly, like, the smallest contributions make the biggest differences because those smiles on those kids' faces were so worth it. Um, and now I'm going to hand it back over to the DHA for budget. Okay, so this is a breakdown of our budget. Um, basically, the basic essentials that everybody needs for school, like notebook, um, folders, pencils, and then for the elementary kids, like markers, construction papers, glue sticks, stuff like that. And even though it seems like it's probably not that big of a deal, like you're just handing them a backpack, how is that going to, you know, help them succeed? But just like the rest of us, like when you go first day of school, you're when you have a new notebook and pencils and everything, you're more motivated and you feel like you've got this. And this semester, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be on top of everything, and and I'm gonna succeed, even if you don't follow through and use those notebooks and everything. But it's basically the same idea. It's, I feel like it's a lot more psychological that they are given essentially a tool, per se, that is what is going to help them so that they feel the same as all of those other kids who go with their parents and do, you know, get their favorite backpack with their favorite characters. So yeah, this is everything that they will need to succeed with. And now I'm going to pass it on to Malik to discuss staffing. So um, for staffing? Uh, the first thing that we did that we that it was that we acquired a group of volunteers um, who have a who, uh, who have a good passion a good passion just as well as us for the cause. Um, the way we did that was that we reached out through social media. Um, for example, we went on Facebook and we created a post and said uh, we created a post about our project and everything. And then um, we invited as many people as possible that would like to join us. Um, 
The second thing was that um, DFW International will be providing the list of uh, school-aged kids, so um, we can easily tell the amount of supplies and uh, the amount of supplies uh, needed for each grade level. Um, the second one, was the, the last one, would be um, Net Impact. So UTD students that are part of Net, Net Impact will also be participating in um, the project as well. So this is just uh, additional ideas of future projects that we thought would be helpful for the refugees. Um, so what it is that an example would be such as interning opportunities um, for juniors and seniors um, at Target uh, to give them a push into society and potential jobs in the future and put them on the resume so they can have experience.